So this is an idea I have been exploring and I would love to get some feedback about it, about what is the role of humor in, uh, in software design. So I'm gonna present uh, some thoughts and eager to, uh, to, get your, uh, to get some of your feedback. So first of all, it's important to mention that humor is not comedy. Comedy is an art form. Humor is uh, an outlook on life. There is a lot of overlap between uh, humor and comedy. I myself like both. I have a sense of humor and I like comedy, uh, but they're not the same. And one of the things that humor gives us is that it allows us not to take ourselves too seriously. That's important. People that don't take themselves too seriously are able to think about other points of view, other perspectives, and they have new ways of looking at things and they break taboos. And taboos, while important because they help us keep the social structure, Taboos can also be quite an inhibitor to creative thinking, to new ways of doing things. We just don't do it that way can be quite a, um, quite a, quite a blocker. So I'm going to talk about three elements of humor. There are many ways to, uh, to look at the elements of humor. The three, ele the three ways I decided to divide humor is we have incongruity, surprise, and recognition. And within each of them, of course, you have the, the usual b uh, building blocks of humor, which are uh, cynicism, irony, wordplay, uh, exaggeration, uh, sarcasm, uh, and so forth. So let's go through them quickly. Incongruity means something that is extremely out of place or inappropriate in context. Uh, many of the slapstick and the cartoon kind of humor are built on incongruity. How can incong incongruity help us when doing software design? So here is a, um, here's a domain model I've been working on, uh, a context map. And on the left, we have the scheduler. On the right, we have the billing. Scheduler has things like appointment and room and patient. And on the right, we have uh, the, the billing, the client. And the pictures I had put up here were the, these two pictures. And that helped people think, OK, when we're doing scheduling, we're scheduling appointments for a doctor. And when we're doing billing, it's a person standing behind the desk and somebody actually comes and pays him. Later on, I decided to replace this picture with this picture. So now billing has a picture of a man with a shotgun and a bag of money. And why is a man with a shotgun and a bag of money welcome to a design session, which is supposed to be a safe place and a place where, where people don't carry shotguns and bags of money? And uh, the reason I wanted him there and I welcome this man into our session is because one of the concerns that billing has is how do we make people pay their bill after their appointment is over and they've gone? And it's something that the software has to relate to. The second part of humor is surprise. Surprise is something that happens unexpectedly, a breaking of a pattern. Um, and a lot of sitcoms and jokes uh, have surprise as one of their elements of, uh, of humor. So here's an example. We were talking about uh, a kind of um, uh, ma property management uh, application, and we were doing some uh, use cases. And one of the things we were discussing was, how do you transfer ownership? And the classical ways of transferring ownership, you could buy, sell it, you could give it away, you could trade it for something else, you could inherit from somebody that dies, you could share it with somebody, rent, lend, borrow. And I put, and then I added something to the list. You could steal something. That's also a way of transferring ownership. And initially people said, no, that's, nobody transfers ownership by stealing. And I said, yes, lots of people transfer ownership by stealing. Uh, and the question came up, do you have to model illegal activity in software? And it was an interesting discussion. And we were able to come to that discussion by putting something in the list that was sort of a break from what we expected of the list. The third kind of humor is recognition. When we see something familiar, familiar a lot of stand-up comedy is built around recognition, a familiar situation, but highly exaggerated or highly sarcastic. And that allows us to, to see the world in, in a humorous and interesting way. So this comes when we discuss design patterns and, and anti-patterns. So we have patterns like big ball of mud or spaghetti code. And when I hear big ball of mud and spaghetti code, I actually laugh because I've seen ball of mud and I've seen a code that looks like a uh, like big ball of mud or spaghetti code. And it's and the familiarity of it actually makes it funny because you found the name of something familiar to describe something familiar. And um, the smile, the fact that it's funny is an indication of its uh, familiarity. So that's another element of humor that that has assisted me in, in software. Uh, software design. So those are the three elements of humor, incongruity, out of place, surprise, something unexpected, recognition, something yes expected, but maybe expected in a slightly different context. Um, and I think that those might be helpful when doing uh, domain analysis. Uh, so I want to thank you. This is a picture of Raymond May. 
Raymond May was a driver for Bugatti. This is him in 1930 driving a Bugatti car, and he lost the wheel in the middle of, uh, of his race, towards the end of his race, and he commented something to the effect of, I see that these Italian cars need to be improved a bit. Uh, and Bugatti actually did succeed in improving uh, their, uh, their cars quite, uh, quite a bit. Um, and he was known for his sense of humor. I don't know if he won this race or lost this race. Uh, thank you. Thank you for your time and attention. And I'd love to hear some comments on, these, on this way of thinking. Thank you.